We greet you. Thanks for watching this video. Rachel Michelle Nichols is an American sports broadcaster who is currently a television host for ESPN, a sports reporter, and an anchor. She hosts an NBA discussion show called The Jump. Weekdays on ESPN, it covers news and stories from around the league and features a panel of NBA analysts and players. Rachel Michelle Alexander, commonly known as Rachel Nichols, was born to Jane Jacobs and Ronald Jacobs October 18, 1973 in Potomac, Maryland. Added to that, the reporter has two brothers whose names as of yet are not revealed. She is a 1991 graduate of Winston Churchill High School and graduated from the Medill School of Journalism at Northwestern University in 1995. Nichols began her career as a sports journalist in the 1990s, first writing for the Fort Lauderdale Sun Sentinel Sports Page, 1995-1996, before covering the NHL's Washington Capitals for the Washington Post, 1996-2004. She joined ESPN in 2004, where she became a regular part of SportsCenter, Sunday NFL Countdown and Monday Night Countdown, as well as a regular on the network's NFL and NBA coverage. Nichols was also a correspondent for E! 60 and worked as the sideline reporter on a number of Monday Night Football broadcasts. In 2013, she left ESPN for CNN and began hosting Unguarded with Rachel Nichols in October of that year. The program would change from a regular series to an occasional special by October of the subsequent year. Nichols was widely praised for her tough questioning of NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell in the wake of the Ray Rice scandal and likewise for confronting boxer Floyd Mayweather on his history of domestic violence. During this same period, Nichols also worked the sidelines for Turner Sports NBA on TNT program from 2013 to 2016, working both regular season and playoff games. Since her return to ESPN in 2016, she has co-hosted The Jump, a daily discussion show she created covering the NBA. In 2019, she was named host of NBA Saturday Primetime on ABC in the NBA Finals on ABC. She also became a recurring guest host on the podcast Pardon My Take, 2016 Present, as well as on the TV show Pardon the Interruption. In July 2021, a July 2020 call between Nichols and LeBron James's advisor Adam Mendelson was leaked in which Nichols questioned ESPN's decision to choose Maria Taylor to host NBA Countdown and stated the job was hers contractually. Afterwards, ESPN replaced Nichols with Malika Andrews as the sideline reporter for the 2021 NBA Finals. The announcement was made before Game 1 of the series. Without warning, ESPN also did not broadcast the jump that day. She has been named one of Esquire's Women We Love and one of the Hollywood Reporter's 10 Most Powerful Voices in Sports Media. She was also named to Sports Illustrated's Twitter 100 in 2013 and 2014 and to Sports Illustrated MMQB 100. Sports Illustrated has called Nichols the country's most impactful and prominent female sports journalist. Rachel Nichols married film and music video director Max Nichols, son of film and stage director Mike Nichols, in a Jewish ceremony in Venice in 2001. Her mother-in-law, the stepmother of Max Nichols and the last wife of Mike Nichols before his death, is Diane Sawyer. Together, they have twin daughters. She also has one older brother and one younger brother. To begin with, Rachel has a mind-blowing net worth of $10 million. Indeed, a woman of her caliber is bound to amass such a fortune while serving in the industry for three decades. Additionally, a veteran reporter like her has an impressive salary of $1.5 million a year, which comes from ESPN alone. Notwithstanding that, Rachel earns quite a figurative amount from the endorsement deal with Nike. As such, from several Instagram posts, we can pull out proof of her fondness for the Jumpman shoe brand. On the other hand, Nichols' husband is an actor and director whose reported net worth is somewhere above $3 million. Clearly, the Nichols family enjoys an extravagant lifestyle from their individual successes. Eventually, with 18 years of marriage, the couple were blessed with twin daughters, the names of who remain private. That's all for now. If you liked the video, like it, subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be the first to know about the release of the new video.